Guys, Rufai is back. You know he has been in UK for quite some time now. He's back and he's about to go down. Yes, so it is about to go down there. I love when Rufai analyzes some of these political issues, especially what happened in Adamawa, like what really happened during this supplementary election. Abeg, let's just kick off. Let's go there. Let's see what he has to say. I like the way you coined the words. <laughs> That's why I've seen so much. <clears throat> Truth has to be said. In the spirit of words, what happened in Nigeria, in Adamawa State, is a blight on our history. Reminds me of a movement that was started by a journalist called Benito Mussolini, called Fascista. What happened in Adamawa State was fascism of the highest order. Hoodooist fascism. That's what happened. And we cannot fold our arms to destroy our nation. Thanks to the authorities that salvaged the situation because Nigeria was fast on the path of destruction. All parts of that incident must be investigated. Must be investigated. Claims and counterclaims must be investigated. I am happy President Mahmoud Buhari has stepped in. And you see, this goes back to the Waste Panel reports that talked about the fact that INEC officials, the INEC chair, should not be appointed by the president. They should be subject to the NJC for review. And that's where we are going. Because when this resident electoral commissioner went rogue, INEC couldn't discipline him because they didn't appoint him. That's the president that makes the approval as regards that. And for us to have very solid democracy, we must keep tweaking things from time to time. Going one step further, till date, we have not seen the National Broadcasting Commission come hard on the medium that aired a coup cool statement in Adamawa, that aired an acceptance speech of an election that was not completed. But we all see how the NBC acts in other cases. So we also want the NBC, the government regulators, to clamp down on all those that were part of this fascist activity that happened in the Damara states. We can't afford to see our democracy go down the drain. And that's why I'm happy that President Muhammad Buhari has put his foot down. We cannot open our eyes and not talk about evil when we see it. It is only in Nigeria that all of a sudden, Somebody wants to win an election when the elections are not completed. And if we don't speak evil, if we don't say things we ought to say against evil, then evil continues in Nigeria. And this way we are going, we should be careful. Because that was how another person called Adolf Hitler started with his Nazism movements. If ideas like this and things like this are allowed to run amok in society, it starts with an idea. Some people go further to write a book, like Hitler wrote Mein Kampf, and they start to populate this ignoble idea in society. Democracy means respect for the rule of law. And there was nothing about Adama that respected the rule of law. We'll take a short break now. To talk about this morning. Yes, uh, welcome back again, Rufai. Thank so you. good missed to see you. Obviously, missed I'm sure you. you can tell from my excitement <laughs> that we really missed you. Missed you. And I, as as I, as I want to say, when you were away, a lot has been happening. <laughs> but I'm sure you've been following Nigerian politics, so myself. you know what's happening at Adama over yeah. the weekend. But um, this is a the first story in terms of the president's statement on um, the suspension of the Adama wreck, or rogue wreck, if I put it that way, um, who announced the result or declared the result in the Adamawa supplementary elections before collation was completed and we, not within his rights to do so has been called, called, he's called for a suspension. This is a U-turn 
from what his Minister of Information, um, Culture and National Orientation, um, Alaji Lai Mohammed, said yesterday. We reviewed that um, statement where he said the president didn't want to interfere or micromanage an institution of government. And a number of people thought, well, that's not really, that's not correct because, again, the president elect had also released a report saying that investigations should be instituted in Adamawa to find out what really happened because it was a show mm -hmm. of shame. Okay. It was a, it was an abuse of our democracy, democratic process. It was just, you know, just a dance, a naked dance in the marketplace as some people described it. Great to hear the president coming out very strongly against this because we will set a precedence for future elections. And that's what some analysts have said, that if this isn't dealt with decisively, what will happen in the future would be that a culture of impunity and lawlessness will take will reign mm -hmm. in Nigeria's political um, you know, um, sphere. So it's, impo it's important that the, go um, the president does speak, speak out. So he's asked for an investigation. If found guilty, he's asked that um, the IG of police prosecutes um, Malam Ari, and then, of course, also calling for an investigation into what happened with security agencies, and has asked that airing officers also be um, should face disciplinary actions. On the part of INEC, it is important that INEC comes out, or that they've come out to speak like this, because uh, Rufai and Dr. Bati, we saw what happened, and a number of people saying that INEC was possibly complicit because. Initially, they'd come out to say that they'd condemned it. They'd called for a halt in the in the for, in further collation, and then summoned the officers to Abuja. But people said it wasn't enough. They wanted to see more action. INEC, within its powers, had the powers to prosecute as well, and Malam Ari, and call airing officials to to you know to order. So to see them come out to make this statement is is excellent. But beyond that, it is what they would do now. It's not just about the words and statements. It is action. INEC has to redeem itself as a credible institution. So what's it? Well, let me start with the INEC part. Um, here is the contest. INEC is responding to an allegation raised by uh, Aisha Dahiru, uh, popularly known as Binani, the uh, gubernatorial candidate of the APC in that supplementary election. Now, after INEC uh, decided to declare uh, Hudu uh, Yunusa Ari's uh, action null, void, and of no effect. Benani, who had been accused of uh, giving out about two billion to certain persons to influence the process, now issued a statement and said she's a Democrat, she's not the type of person that believes in do or die politics, and she did not give two billion naira or any sum at all to anybody to influence the process in that supplementary election. Down the line there, she now raised the point that, in fact, what should be investigated is uh, the conduct of two national officers who came from Abuja to oversee the process in uh, Adamawa and who had nocturnal meetings with the governor of uh, Adamawa State. Of course, there was a response immediately uh, from the office of the governor saying that no such nocturnal meeting took place and that state governors are not involved in the deployment of national officers of INEC. What has now you know, uh, uh, you know uh, followed up is this statement now by uh, Dr. Festo Sukui, saying that, look, no national officer of uh, INEC was involved in any meeting with anybody because that would violate the oath of neutrality. However, in terms of conduct so far in dealing with what is now popularly known in certain quarters as Hoodooism, Hoodooism means that uh, when you try to rig and you are unsuccessful, uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, the new phrase that has been added to uh, Nigeria's uh, political lexicon. So, INEC had intervened promptly to say that Udu Yunusa Ari's uh, conduct was wrong. They also uh, reported, uh, you know, uh, to the uh, office of the secretary to the government of the federation, asking the appointing authority to ensure that the matter is sanctioned and investigated. So on our scores, you know, we would like to ask for further investigation of the allegations raised by uh, uh, Aisha uh, Dahiro with regard to that nocturnal meeting. It's not enough for INEC to just say, uh, we, we don't know anything about it. Now, to the second leg of the story, the uh, president now directing that uh, Adamawa State Rec should be suspended and that it should be investigated. 
and all the heads of security agencies involved in that election should investigate their officers, and anybody that is found culpable should be sanctioned according to the law. We made this point here yesterday when Alaji Lai Mohammed, Minister of Information, was reported as having said that it's not the president's business, that it's the business of INEC. And I argued yesterday, and I restate the argument, that in fact it is the business of the president as the appointing authority. And so it is good that the president has followed the letters of the law and has acted accordingly in line with Section 154 sub 1 of the 1999 Constitution, which makes the uh, president the appointing authority of resident electoral commissioners. When what we would like to see is for Section 6 sub 3 of the Electoral Act 2022 to also take effect. That Section 6 sub 3 talks about the role of the Senate addressing the matter and also making recommendations appropriately uh, to the president. So the president has played his part. We would uh, all be interested in the outcome of the investigation. And we would also like to see what decision the National Assembly will take in this matter. The National Assembly addressing the president can, in fact, ask for the removal of, of that uh, Adamawa State uh, resident electoral commissioner so that we do not have a repetition of Hoodooism the latest word in uh, mm, guys, Nigeria's political With lexicon. all this being said, so it not means that before uttering any statement, you need to be very careful of what you say, because what you say can actually be used against you, just like it is always been said before one is arrested. And again, according to Lai Mohammed, be careful of what somebody that is close to you says, because if him coming out to accuse Mr. Peter of the of treason statement because of what his vice, okay, said that he said, and holding Peter will be accountable that Peter will be didn't say anything. Hmm. I wonder where we are going from here. Like the way I am looking at this thing, are we still practicing democracy or it is now? Something else. I just don't know. Now I am getting to know that there is an, an additional um, term you see, in constitution that has been added recently. According to Dr. Ruben Abati, he says it's called Houdism. Houdism is when you try to ring election and it didn't go well. And this has caused a lot of, you know, reactions. Even Aisha Yusuf has reacted and there are so many people. People have been reacting to this thing that happened, this supplementary election. Like, INEC really has to come out and clarify and redeem its name if actually they are going to even do it because they have lost the trust that Nigerians once had in them. Now we are beginning to understand that actually it's not like our politicians are not the problem we are having. Yes, but I think INEC constituted a lot into what we have been facing since. I don't know if I will still have time to read some comments for you guys. Like, I have so many comments here that I would have loved to read, but let me just leave it because, like, the main thing now is that be careful of what you say because it can actually be used against you. Thank you guys so much for watching. We are going to see the end of this. Like, the thing is turning into drama upon drama upon drama. And the worst part is that the whole world is watching and they are seeing. And the shame these people are causing to Nigerians is just excess. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I will see you guys on my next.